Hello YouTube and welcome to this quick tutorial where I'm going to show you how to use the Ionic app wizard. So basically the Ionic app wizard is a quick way of starting your next Ionic project. So in order to use the Ionic app wizard, you need to go to the web address ionicframework.com forward slash start. You'll be greeted with this page. And basically this is a quick a visual way to set up your Ionic project. So let's see how it works. Okay, so first we need to create an application name. I'm going to name it wizard demo. And next we need to pick a color for our theme. So I like the red color. I'm going to go with that. You could also click on this little dropper and that will allow you to select any color that you want. Actually, um, let me pick this uh, fuchsia or purple like color. So I'll go with that. And next you can pick a template. You can choose from tabs, menu or a list. Let's go with list and you can also pick a JavaScript framework that you want to use. Um, right now you can select react or angular view is not yet available. I'm going to select angular and click continue. So next, um, in order for this to work, you need to have a profile an account with Ionic. So if you don't have the account, you can just fill in your details here. I already have an account, so I'm simply going to log in. So there's my username and password and I'm going to log in. And once you are logged in, you're all set to go. You are given these two commands to run so that you can start with your amazing application. Now, please take note of this, that it says it requires the Ionic CLI version 6.3.0 or above. So let's go to our command line and let's get started. So the first thing that we'd like to do is to check our version. We do that by running the command ionic dash V. So we do indeed have version 6.3.0. If we had an earlier version, we would need to run the following command in order to update our ionic CLI. So pressing enter to this would then update our Ionic CLI, but I already have an up-to-date one. I don't need to uh, run this update command. Run this command, Ionic start with this particular start ID. So let's copy that and let's paste it inside our command line and press enter. So this will download the application with the specifications that we selected. I'm going to integrate with capacitor. Let me say no to this. So it's going to continue and download all the dependencies as it does for a normal Ionic application. This will take a short while. I don't want to create an Ionic account, so no to that. And that's it. Our application has been created. So let's navigate into the application folder. So I am in the application folder and what I want to do is to open the application in Visual Studio Code so that we can check out the code as well as running it in the browser. So I'll type in code with a period that will open Visual Studio Code. And I will also run Ionic serve. This will run the application in the browser. So we can see here in our, oops. Okay, so that's our application running in the browser. And you can see it has 
a white as the primary color and it has that purple that we selected as our accent color so that's our theme color if we go to visual studio code we can see that we have our home page for instance and let me look for it in theme our variables.css and we have our primary color has been modified to include this color that we selected initially so this is a quick way of starting your application um, in a visual form choosing your framework and quickly uh, integrating a custom color so thanks for watching this quick tip video please like this video share it with your friends and make sure that you subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you can be notified of future tutorials if you'd like to support this channel please head to codeswag.co.uk we have an online shop for developers with cool gadgets and merchandise thank you very much for watching this video have a nice day